All right, I figured I'd do another video. I took that header out because uh, I had to put my studs in further and these fucking headers that I got are a lot larger than just the, the correct size that you're supposed to put on there. So hopefully everything pans out and slides right on. But I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do this, <clears throat> again, with less shit in the way. Like I said, there's two bolts down there and then one on the back side. I don't know if you can, if you can see it. I don't think you can. There's another one down there in the center though. And uh, it's very simple. Three bolts pop out. Use a, either a half or a 13 millimeter. I had to put these studs in though, so see, that was my issue. Like, I didn't have enough room to slide the header on over them. So I just took it out so I could hurry up and Allen key them in. But here's the header. Boom, boom. And I'll show you, it just slides right up in there. No issues. Easy as cake. If I had my other hand, it'd be a little bit simpler, but you get the logist of it. Like, oh shit, I blocked it a little bit, but it'll slide right up in there. I don't want to tear my valve cover paint off. Not that it's like something pristine, but if you wiggle it up in there, you're still not going to be able to see if I, I'm trying to hold this either or. So, I guess I'm already scratching it up, so it doesn't matter. Stuck on this fucking shit here. Let's see. Up oh, there we go. It'll just fall right in, for the most part. If you had both hands, it'd be a lot easier. Like I said, I had these studs on here too, so it's a different scenario. Let me uh, pull it from the bottom. Shit. I think my studs are stopping me. But it's a lot easier than <clears throat> it's for the most part in there. Just setting that back stud. I don't have much room off of that fucking thing. I took it off with them on there, so I don't see why it shouldn't go back on. I don't know how the fuck I wiggle it on there. Might have to take that back stud off. But if you didn't have the studs and you're just putting bolts in like normal people, you would uh, it would slide right in. See my back studs hitting right up in there. If you can see that, my flange. But it'll slide right in. I don't know why it came out and I can't slide it back in now. Different strokes for different folks, I guess. But yeah. A lot easier than taking off the starter and the torque converter cover and all that. It'll fall right in there. So, boom, boom.